we still have a simple life. My name is Castor uh, Hessels from the uh, state of Angar. Since I'm 58, I've been living here. My name is Charity Gullibert, and I do catering services here in Angar. My name is uh, Jonathan Raphael. So my name is Tiffany Casciano, and I'm a uh, principal of this school, uh, Angar Elementary School. It's a paradise island, you know. Everything simple. We fish, we crab, coconut crab, you know. Simple things that, like, you know. And uh, work, life here is you gotta move. You don't move, you don't eat. The community, when uh, as a family, there's a uh, family that uh, they really. Close to you, you have to share food. Uh, you cannot just sell uh, uh, food anywhere, anytime. Well, you know, I love, I love it here at home. I mean, I love the States, I enjoy living there, but for me, there's no, there's no feeling like being at home, so. Um, I think we're pretty close-knit um, community, except that Sometimes I, I, I do think that we're a little weary of, uh, you know, stranger, not stranger, foreigners or somebody that's not from Angar. Of course, it's a tiny place. The moment you're new, they're like, who's that? By the end of the day, you already know he's from this or from another island. Why, why is he here? All that. So, yeah, but once, once we, you know, we get to know you, I, I, I like to think that we're pretty hospitable. Yeah, let me say uh, something about Angar. It's the only island in, in the whole 16 states that doesn't have police. If an island doesn't have a policeman, it means the island is peace. And they can handle them all, they have problems in the whole thing. In the environment, I mean, and it's safe, I'm able to raise my my daughter and my grandson in a very safe environment and an environment where we can really connect to the environment, you know. Uh, we get to go out to the beach, go hiking and swimming and those are the things that you can't really do in Koror. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I like it here. And I love how, you know, we get together. It's like, what do you got? You know, I got a couple chicken, okay, I got fish. Let's just put it together. It's not about the stress of, you know, it's by the time you get to the table, you're exhausted and, and it's more for a show or presentation, I think. Here, it's, every, it's pretty laid back. Um, well, you know, we, I watched the Operation Christmas Trap movie and I made the whole school watch it just so they can appreciate the, the hard work that goes into to it to make it possible. So my students and I, we, we kind of know a little bit about, you know, how much work it takes to do it. We've been having it since I was um, a little boy. I'm 55 right now. I'm 55 years old. Man, when the drops come, man, we're all, you know, we, we know that there's gonna be pressing. Oh, okay. God. It's a simple thing, but you know, we didn't have it. Thanks to you guys that provided to us, but, you know. Um, I was a part of this once. Uh, I remember when I was, uh, I think, six years old. And I was here for a brief time because of my grandma was sick, so we were here, and I got to experience it once. So at six years old, so I'm I'm really thankful that um, I got to experience it, and I got to see my daughter experience it, and now my grandson um, he experienced it for the first time yesterday. So he was really really excited. 
that uh, when we got home, he was, uh, he got all these empty boxes and he started throwing them <laughs> downstairs. And he was saying that I'm dropping bo boxes of gifts to the two, two kids. So yeah, I think he really enjoyed it. And I really, really thank, uh, you know, everyone involved in this operation for making it possible all these years. Uh, I just want to say thank you very much, uh, U.S. government for uh, being a, a take care of a small state of Palau. I know it's a lot of work. So I just want to say thank you so much for doing that. And it really makes the students and the people on this island, you know, happy. And they, it's something that, an event that they look forward to every year. So yeah, thank you. So uh, before we opened the box, I was telling them that it's a tribute to the, to the service uh, men and, and what happened. So the kids, they knew about it. They were kind of sad too. Yeah, so, you know, I feel sad and I feel honored to be part of it.